In this video I'll be making these decorative winter jars or lanterns. If you're in the Mixed Media Emporium, the prompt for December is to either continue with the holiday preparation or to go back and do any of the other prompts or challenges we set this year. But let me get started. So here's what I'm using to make these decorative jars or lanterns. Some deli paper. So this is waxed paper, the type you would wrap sandwiches in. So I've got that, I'm just going to use a few sheets of this. I'll be using glue, just an ordinary PVA glue, and I'll also use a glue stick and some paints. You can use any type of paints at all for this. I'm just going to use some acrylics and some met metallic paints and I'll tell you the colours when I come to them. I'm also using these recycled jars. I think these are all kind of jam jars, different sizes, uh, all been washed out and the labels taken off. And I'll use a paintbrush and a brush for gluing. The, the other thing I'm going to use is I've got a little star cutter. Uh, of course, I mean a star punch. And what I'm going to do is use that punch to punch some stars out my deli paper. Now, I'm just doubling that over because I want stars top and bottom. And I'll show you different ways to do this. Now, if I just try and punch the deli paper, that's going to get stuck in my punch. So what I'm going to do is take an old envelope and you can see it just makes it a bit ragged. I'm just taking an old envelope and all I'm going to do is to punch through that. So just a scrap piece of paper and then I can punch and I get a much neater punch. It just firms it up a little bit and makes it that bit easier. So of course a small punch like this is only going to reach so far into the paper but you can just try and offset the little punched shapes if you want. So I could do that along the middle of the paper, I could do it along the edge, uh, different ways to do it and it's just about experimenting to find out the way that you would want to do it. So I'm looking here at the area that I want to cover on the jar and what I'm going to do is to cut this piece of deli paper or tear it anyway down to roughly that size and you'll see with this one that I've just punched the stars along one of the edges so I'm just going to pull it, made it a little bit rough but I can easily neaten that up and then I'll punch along the other edge. And of course lots of little pieces for future collage material. Lots of little scraps I can use again in the future. So the next step is I'm going to start painting my papers. Now you could paint the papers before you punch them. Uh, I just chose to do it this way. So just using this crimson red, quite a festive colour, and I'm just going to paint all over that. Uh, trying to get it not too thick but equally I don't want it too thin or it might just look a little bit patchy. So there it's done and I'm just going to put that on that kind of poly pocket just until I get my others done. Once I've got them all done I'm then just going to dry it. Here's one that I'm doing, I'm doing it a little bit thinner just using some water on the brush as well so this will make it a little bit more translucent. So I've left a couple of my pages in solid colour and I've got a couple where I've already punched the stars out and I'm looking now at how I might combine these together. So I'm liking the pink with the blue stars underneath and the red which will show the gold stars underneath. And just looking at my jars and you'll see there's little bits of a lip on them so I'm going to try and just keep it within those two lips so that there's nothing sticking out or no fiddly gluing. Trying to keep this as uh, straightforward as possible. So I'm just cutting my piece of the kind of blue turquoise that will go underneath the pink, just cutting it to about the same size and all I'm going to do this time is to use a glue stick to glue these two pieces together. So getting quite a good covering on that. Now, as I say, you could actually paint your paper and then punch out the stars if you wanted. I just did it this way. So I'm just going to combine those now. 
there was a couple of little stars where I was a little bit close to the edge when I punched so it's torn slightly but I can do a little touch up job on them and all I'll do is I'll put my poly pocket across the top and just press down on that to make sure that they're fully adhered and I'm then going to do exactly the same with the red and the gold but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take my my crimson paint and just touch up a couple of little bits now the more kind of opaque uh, it is the less light that will come through so you know you can just put on a thinner layer of paint and if you're putting lights in it will come through that little bit more so I'm now at the stage where I'm going to start gluing these onto my jam jars and just looking roughly at the size there I know I can trim a little bit off I don't want that rough edge anyway so I'll cut one off and then I'll just overlap it ever so slightly which will help keep it in place and all I'm going to do is to use my PVA glue for this so I'll put the PVA glue down onto another sheet of deli paper you could water this down a little bit but I just used as is and then I'm just going to start to go around the area that I'm planning to cover And this goes on fairly easily, it doesn't have to be too thick. Now that I've got it on, I am going to start to place the deli paper on it, trying to smooth it out as I go along. It's going to have some wrinkles in it, I'm okay with that. It just gives it a kind of rustic look. So trying to smooth it as I go along. I'm also hurrying just in order to get it filmed. But I'll get that in place and I'll just go back over, try and smooth out those little bits. I don't want to pull too hard because I could risk tearing the stars. I then do the exact same with the red and gold. Same process. And you'll see for the final one that what I've done is I've taken a piece of the turquoise that was left over and all I've done is then add a thin strip of the gold that was left over. Now I decided that a little bit of uh, just adding a few white dots might just liven it up a little bit more. So I'm just going to start using this Sharpie paint pen and just putting dots all over it. So these really are very simple, straightforward and a good way to recycle jars. So just showing you here, if you had one of these kind of string lights you could arrange it around the jars, in the jars, uh, you could put tea lights in, you know I would always say be careful with candles, be candle aware. So tea lights, I quite often like to use those little uh, four tea lights that have the batteries. Unfortunately, I don't have any batteries for them at the moment. But you would see from the image at the start, I just used those little uh, copper wire lights. But you can arrange them in lots of different ways. If you didn't want to put them in the jar, you could just put them around or you could do a combination. So just a reminder, if you're in a mixed media emporium, feel free to continue with holiday preparation or you could go back and do perhaps a prompt that you've missed or maybe one that you particularly enjoyed. So these jars could be used to store, for example, candy cane or little sweeties, little treats, or as I say, they could be used just to put some tea lights or lights in. I did make a couple a few years ago and what I'll do, here they are, uh, these were really nice little lanterns. I use them now to store paint brushes, again made with daily paper, but I'll leave the link to that video as well, which just shows you a slightly different technique. There you can see I put those uh, star scraps into there. So, uh, do check out that other video as well and if you're in the Mixed Media Emporium I look forward to seeing what you've created. I'll leave a link to the, that below and I'll also leave a link to Nina's video. Bye for now.